Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play World Series Baseball 98. April 20th, 1997, the Toronto Blue Jays are finishing their three game series in Texas before heading on to uh, Anaheim for three games. So let's uh, simulate the rest of these. Both the Angels and the Orioles had a uh, good day, same with the Brewers. Anybody else? Looks like the Expos and Phillies. Phillies game was a good one. So it looks, yeah. All right, let's see how the uh, the Jays and Rangers do. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. Oh, looks like it's a, an afternoon game. All right, let's get the uh, pitch speed up to All-Star. Check the pitching matchups. We've got Pat Henkin at Burkett. Is he a righty or lefty? He's a righty. All right, so as always, I'll get the uh, lineup sorted out accordingly, and I'll be back when I'm done. And in batting order, we have Otis Nixon in center field, Sean Green in left field, Joe Carter at first base, Carlos Delgado as designated hitter, Ed Sprague at third base, Carlos Garcia at second base, Benito Santiago behind the plate, Robert Perez out in right field, and Alex Gonzalez at shortstop. Let's play ball. Otis Nixon batting 457. Let's get on base. Okay, will it stay fair? And it has stayed fair. All right. Base hit. Next up, for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. Sean Green. And foul off to the right side. Uh, batting 360. Ooh. <clears throat> Pardon me. That could go. Ooh, will it stay fair? Does it have enough? Oh, it's in the corner. And Otis Nixon goes to third. Next up for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 29. Joe Carter, I wonder if Otis Nixon would have had enough to uh, get, get all the way home. Uh, if I paid more attention to that. Ooh. And Joe Carter Next beats the throw to first. The designated hitter. Number 25. Still got the guy at second, though. Ooh. Carlos still got a runners at the corners. Oh. the wall. Now better for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. It's Sprague batting 411 with 13 home runs. Strike one, swing and a miss. Send the runner. Ah, darn. Next up, for the Rangers, the second baseman, number three. All right, uh, let's go with a medium fastball up and away. Let's go with a slow curve down and in. And foul. Ooh. All right, uh, let's see if we can get it by him high and inside. Ground ball to second. Uh, right past. Now Garcia. For the Rangers, the catcher, number seven. All right. Uh, let's go with a medium slider on the inside part of the plate. Slow fastball down and away. And now fell off to the left side. 
Let's see if we can get by him hiding inside. Fly ball to center, and Otis Nixon makes the catch. Runner stays at first. Next up, for the Rangers, the left fielder, number 29. Let's go with a fast slider down and away. Fly ball to center field. Otis Nixon makes the catch. Runner retreats to first. Next up, for the Rangers, the right fielder, number 19. Let's go with the uh, let's go with the slow fastball up and away. Ooh. Brown ball to second. Fielder's choice to second, but I don't know if that'll actually count as a fielder's choice because it was a third out. Number thirty-three. Ed Sprague. It's a second attempt. <laughs> Does it have enough? It's gone. 420 feet. 14th home run of the season. 1 0 Toronto. Carlos Garcia. Fell off to the left side. Ground ball into right field. Now better. Base hit. The catcher, number 18. Benito Santiago. Runner on first. No out. Fly ball in the left. Oh, got there just in time and. Oh, got me back at first. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder. Number 17. Well played, guys. Well played. All right. Robert Perez. Chopper to first base. Next up for the Rangers, the first base, number 22. Let's go with a medium curve down and away. Ground ball to short. Throws to first and gets him. One away. Next up for the Rangers. The third baseman, number 16. Let's go with a slow fastball down the middle. Hmm. Let's go with the heat high and inside. And let's try a slow curve up and away. Try a fast slider down and inside. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Get it. Oh, off the ball. Nixon was there in time to keep it from being multiples, multiple bases. All right. Uh, runner on first. Let's go with a medium curve down and in. 71 mile an hour curveball. Let's put a slow curve down and away. 61 miles an hour. So we can throw the heat high, high and inside. Get some looking. Now two away. For the Rangers, the center fielder, number two. All right, let's try. Uh, let's go with a medium curve up and in. Ooh, and bunt! Oh, that's a good bunt. And he beats the throw to first. Base hit. The shortstop, number twenty-three. Uh, let's go with a medium curve down and away. Ooh, missed. The medium curve down and in. Just again. Let's try a fast slider down and in. Ooh, and a chopper into shallow right. Oh! 
Robert Perez couldn't get there in time. One run scores. A double, two run scores. Now batting for the Rangers. Two one Texas. Number three. Runner on second, two outs. Let's move the slow curve up and away. Ooh, just missed. Let's go with a slow fastball up and away. Let's go with a medium slider down and away. Ground ball the first. Tags the base for the third out. Pitcher has the low record for the lowest career EIA. Let's go with Koufax. Nope. B has failed me yet again. <laughs> uh, chose the name I know, but not the fact I know. <laughs> and line drive to second. For the Blue Jay, the center fielder, number two. Otis Nixon batting one for one with a single. Nice change up. Ooh. Chops it foul to the left side. Oh! <laughs> change up gets me on. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Number 15. Sean Green's up. One for one with a single. So excited that Sean Green was going to get his first home run, but oh well. Ooh, line drive right back to the pitcher. Rodriguez, all right. Let's go with the medium curve on the inside part of the plate. Ooh, ground ball the first. Tags first. One away. For the Rangers, the left fielder, number 29. Let's go with a medium curve, down and away. Oh! Run, Robert! Jump! Oh! For the Rangers, the right fielder, number 19. Rusty Greer's third run, third home run of the season, 399 feet. 3-1 Texas. Let's go with a fast curve down the middle, or I guess over the plate technically. <laughs> 73 mile an hour. Right, let's go with a medium curve down and away. Ooh boy. Line drive to left field. Out of the reach of Sean Green. And that's a double. Next double for the Rangers, the first baseman. Number 22. Let's go with a fast curve down and in. Ooh, ground ball to the pitcher. Throws to first. Gets him. Runner advances to third. Two away. Now batting for the Rangers. The third baseman. Number 16. Let's go with a fast curve down and away. Ooh, and a bunt. Oh, and... Oh, run scores on a bunt. Base hit. Wow, two away. 4-1 Texas. All right, let's try a fast slider down and away. I may have to start raining in my curveballs on the, uh, the right-handed batters. All right, let's go with that medium fastball down and in. See if we can get the heat by him high and inside. Get some looking. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 29. All right, guys, Joe Carter, 0 for 1. Ooh, fly ball to left field. Or is that left center? 
somewhere in there. <laughs> now battle, the designated hitter, number 25. Carlos Delgado, 0 for 1. Round ball in the short. Get some at first. Now battle, for the Blue Jays, the third paper, number 33. Ed Sprague, one for one with a home run. Fly ball to left center. And that's the third out. Next up, for the Rangers, the center fielder, number two. Let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. I'm going to try and stay away from the curve this this time around, unless I think it'll be a perfect pitch, but they've been taking advantage of that curve a little too much for my liking so far. All right, let's go with a fast slider down and in. Ground ball to short. Throws to first. Gets him. Now that for the Rangers, the shortstop, number 23. Uh, let's go with a medium fastball down and away. Let's try the curve again. Let's go with a medium curve down and away. Please don't crush it. Thank you. <laughs> Swing and a miss. One and one. Let's go with a medium fastball up and away. Ground ball a second. Throws the first, second out. For the Rangers, the second baseman. Number. Three. Right, let's go with a medium curve down and away. Missed. Let's try a medium fastball down and away. So we're gonna miss. One one count. Slow curve down and in. Number 13. Carlos Garcia, one for one with a single. Ooh. Round ball the second. Ooh, and the second baseman fumbles it. Garcia reaches on an error. For the Blue Jays, the catcher. Number 18. Benito Santiago, 0 for 1. Ooh. Swing and a miss, strike 1. Ooh. Hmm, pardon me. Runner's going! Ooh. Oh, you're kidding! That was a beautiful pitch to do that on to, a changeup. Got a hand at that catcher. He did his job. Well done. Well, I got a second here. I'm going to give him a small round of applause there. Two and two. Oh, swing and a miss, strike three. Next up for the Blue Jays. The left fielder, number 17. Robert Perez, 0 for 1. It's a routine grounder. Ground ball to third base, throws to first, and th that's that's the inning. Now that oh, that's the side the anyway. Rangers, the catcher, number 7. Uh, let's try a slow curve down and in. Please don't crush it. Uh oh, oh, okay. Just a uh, fly ball in the shallow left center. This Nixon got it. So we're the first. Save. The left. Number twenty-nine. Let's go with a fast curve down and in. Yeah. Chopper to left center through the gap. Otis Nixon comes up with it. Throw to third. Safe. Next up, for the Rangers, Runners on second the right and third. Fielder, 
number 19. Pat Higgins having a relatively rough go so far today. Foul ball. Fell off to the left side. With medium curve up and in. Let's see if we can get a slow fastball down and away. Eh. Ground ball to third, throws to first, gets some runners, stay where they are. Next up, for the Rangers, the first baseman, number... Half tempted to use two. that uh, double play mechanic. Let's go with a medium slider on down and away. Ooh. Pops it up to the right side, and foul. But Robert Perez got there in time to catch it. For the Rangers, the third baseman. Two away. Number 16. Uh, go with a fast slider. Low. And. Oh yeah. Next up, for the Blue Jays, the shortstop. Number 8. Alex Gonzalez. 0 for 1. Batting 284. Fly ball to left field. One away. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. Otis Nixon, one for two with a single. Foul ball. Ooh. Falls off to the right side. Sean Green. Ooh, swinging out a strike one. Runner going. Makes it. All right. Otis Nixon got one. All right. Runner in second. Ooh. Fell off to the right side again. One out. Ooh. One and two. Oh, strike three call. <laughs> two away. For the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 29. Joe Carter, 0 for 2. So we're going to miss strike one. Fly ball to center. Might as well just keep going. This is the final out. Next up, the designated hitter, number 15. Let's go with a slow curve up and away. Go the slow slider down and away. Foul ball. See if we can get the heat by him high and inside. So we're gonna miss strike three. Now that for the Rangers, the center fielder, number two. Well, a medium fastball down the middle. Mm. I'm going to risk another curve, a slow curve down and away. Let's try throwing the heat down and away. Ooh, ground ball to second, throws to first. Two away. Now that for the Rangers, the shortstop, number 20. 
three. Let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. Mm. Let's go with a medium fastball up and in. Risk another curve, slow curve, and down and away. So we're gonna miss straight three. Now better, the designated hitter, number twenty-five. How you doing, Pat? Still going. All right, still going. Carlos Delgado. Oh for two. One. Ooh. Does it have enough? It's gone. Now better for the Blue Jays. The third paper, number thirty-three. Home run number eleven for Carlos Dar. <laughs> Carlos Delgado. <laughs> English, all right, 405 feet. Next up, Ed Sprague, one for two, a home run. Ooh. Good location. Nailing that. And, ooh, gets by the second baseman into center field. Base hit. Next up, for the Blue Jays, the second baseman, number 13. Carlos Garcia, one for two, a single. High ball one. Oh. Throw on the heat, swing and a miss, strike one. <laughs> Ooh. Line drive to left. Ooh, that was close. Got back to first just in time. Benito Santiago, 0 for 2, 1 out. Ooh. Chops it foul on the right side. Drives it to left center. And he flies out to the outfield. Two away. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 17. Robert Perez 0 for 2. Runner on first, two out. Shot out in a lush. Oh, left field. Oh, got there just in time for the third out. Number um let's uh warm somebody up with the feeling Hentkins not gonna be able to go the full nine this time. Uh, let's see. Let's warm up Risley. We'll just go with that for now. Uh let's go with the uh, slow curve up and away. With a slow fastball down and away. Round ball to first. Tags the base. One away. Now that for the Rangers, the catcher, number seven. Let's go with a fast slider. Low. Ball one. Let's go with a slow fastball down and away. Ball two. Uh, I'm gonna risk another curve, slow curve down and away. Ugh. Come on, Nixon, and he gets it right at the warning track. Two away. For the Rangers, the left fielder, number twenty. 
nine. Let's go with the uh, medium curve down and in. Straight one. And let's go with a slow fastball down and in. Swing and a miss. Let's try a fast curve high and inside. So we're gonna miss strike three. Next up for the blue game, the short stop, number eight. All right, how you doing, Pat? Uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah, let's bring him in. Let's give Henkin a rest. Uh, okay, so let's set him down. Henkin did a good job editing. Alright, Alex Gonzalez, 0 for 2. So we're going to miss strike one. 66 mile an hour change up. <laughs> Ooh. That almost hit me. Wow, he does not like Alex Gonzalez. Whoa! Ground ball the second. Throw the first. What a way. Now better for the Blue Jay, the center fielder, number two. Otis Nixon, two for three, two singles. This guy trying to beat us? It's two batters in a row he's thrown at. Anyway, we can charge the mount. Line drive to th third on the foul side. The left fielder. Uh, third baseman didn't have to run far for that one. <laughs> Sean Green, one for three with a single. Need some runs, guys. <laughs> 51 mile an hour changeup, high and inside. One on one count. Oh, loves that changeup because it's worked so well for him this game. <laughs> and I think that home run I hit off him, but. Uh... <sighs> Actually, was that the home run? I think it was. Number 19. Um. Hmm. I guess it's the bottom of the eighth. Um, get Risley back up again. It shouldn't take too long to get him warmed up again. Uh, so let's see how this goes. So if we get any runs next inning, I'm probably going to start warming up Plesek and possibly Crabtree as well if we tie it up. Or get more runs kind of thing. Uh, let's go with a medium slider down and away. It's a routine grounder. Out! Okay, so the inning's going all right. For the Rangers, the third baseman. Let's uh, number sixteen. Hmm. How's this ERA? Two point one one. Let's bring him in. Oop. Not quite ready yet, darn. Uh, 
Ready or not, he's coming in. The this could suck. The, blue game, number 55. the drawback of bringing in a pitcher before he's ready is that he won't be. Able, I believe he doesn't. He doesn't have the ability to pitch at full speed yet, and his stamina goes down quicker too. I believe. I think that's what the conditions are. If I'm wrong, please correct me. If you know for sure, um, but I think to me that makes the most sense. It, it's just it's not very often I I bring somebody in that isn't ready kind of thing. So yeah, Bill Risley, let's see what you can do, buddy. All right. Uh, hmm. Let's go with a uh, medium slider down and in. Ground ball to third. Throw to first. That's the inning. Now that is for the Blue Jays, the first base number 20. All right, guys, last chance to get some runs. Joe Carter, 0 for 3. Ooh. Fly ball to left, shallow left field, base hit. Next up, the designated hitter, number 20. Carlos Delgado, one for three with a home run. Let's send the runner. Ooh, is that enough? Uh, I don't know if I should keep going. Nope, go back, go back. Uh, no. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to where the fielders were. Oh, well. Base hit, runners at first and second. I think I may have... Uh, could have potentially robbed myself of a run there by not having Joe Carter get to third, but Ed Sprague, two for three, home run and a single. Ooh, ground ball to second. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, double play at third and second. Oh boy. It comes down to this. Last out. Ooh, strike one. Carlos Garcia, let's try to get on base. Keep it going. Sending the runner. Ground ball to second into center field. Ed Sprague going for third. Can he make it? Oh! And that's the ball game. For the Jays. 11 hits, 2 runs on 11 hits. Home runs by Carlos Delgado and Ed Sprague, solo shots. Bunch of 2 for 4s and 1 for 4s, a 1 for 3, and Perez and Gonzalez were the only two that did not get a hit. So at least that was successful. One stolen base for Otis Nixon. 11 hits. Two runs and 11 hits, no errors. Pitching. Pat Hinkin, seven and two thirds innings. Gives up four earned runs, one home run with five strikeouts, no walks. Loses. Record becomes four, drops to four and one. The first loss. Bill Risley went a third of an inning. No earned runs, no strikeouts, no walks, no home runs. For Texas, one home run from Rusty Greer, a solo shot. Dean Palmer with an RBI. Gill with two RBIs. Clark and Tettleton, the only two players that did not get hits. Texas, four runs on nine hits with one error. Pitching, Burkett. Nine innings pitched, two earned runs, four strikeouts, two home runs. Record improves to two and two. All right, let's take a look at the league leaders. Yeesh. Top five, Delgado, Nixon, Sprague, Perez, Garcia. <laughs> Jefferson right behind them with Rusty Greer. Mm, pardon me. Right behind him. Five stolen bases for Nixon, three for Garcia Parra. I think I remembered his first name. I think it was Nomar Garcia Parra. It sounds really familiar. 
Wow, he's having a hard, a rough year so far. Betting average of 170. Have faith, buddy. Have faith. You've got the ability to get out up there. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me rephrase that. You have the ability to get your your, your batting average up. There we go. <laughs> Slugging percentage, Delgado, Sprague, Maguire, the top three. Delgado, Vaughn, and Nixon on base percentage. Becker, Jeter, Knobloch leading in at bats with 97, 93, and 93 respectively. 39 hits for Nixon, 32 for Sprague, 31 for Jefferson. Nixon, Perez, Sean Green, 33, 25, and 23 singles respectively. Rusty Greer, 10 doubles. Cordero, 9 doubles. Wade Boggs and McFarlane, 8 doubles apiece. Sean Green, Alex Gonzalez, Robert Perez, and Nomar Garcia Parra. 4 triples for Green and Gonzalez, 3 triples for Perez and Garcia Parra. Sprague McGuire, Delgado. Leading in home runs, 14, 12, and 11, respectively. Carter, Sprague, McGuire leading in RBIs, 32, 26, and 20, respectively. Tomi, Vaughn, and Griffey leading in walks with 14 apiece. Delgado, Sprague, and Carter leading in runs scored. Cora in there as well. 18 apiece for Delgado and Sprague, 17 apiece for Carter and Cora. Pitching. Pat Enkin, four wins on it with a 2.109 ERA. Clemens still leading in innings pitched. Johnson, Avery, Facero, and Rodriguez from Minnesota. Leading in strikeouts with 38, 32, 32, and 32 each, respectively. Ooh, winning percent for Henkin is down to 800. <laughs> oh, to have these numbers in real life, you know. Who wouldn't want them? Still got the quality start, though. The National League. Grace and Wright leading in wins with four apiece. ERA of 0 .360 and 2.297, respectively. Jurek Smolson Nomo leading in innings pitched with 40 and two thirds and 40 and 40 apiece, respectively. Reynolds, Maddox, Nomo, and Gardner leading in strikeouts with 35 and 34, 34, and 34 apiece, respectively. Nomo and Shirk leading in quality starts. Let's check the batting for the National League. Barry Bonds, Gilkey, and Martin leading in batting average. <laughs> I wonder if that'll ever change. Johnson and Larkin leading in stolen bases with five apiece, followed by Clayton Bonds and Deion Sanders with four. Rodriguez, Bonds, and Gilkey leading in slugging percentage. Bonds, Gilkey, and Bagwell leading on on base percentage. Larkin, Green, Deion Sanders, and uh, I can't remember that one. The, the R Sanders leading in at bats 85, 84, 83, and 83, respectively. Gilkey, Bonds, and Martin leading in hits 29, 29, and 26. Deion Sanders leading in doubles, or singles, with 24. Grudzelin and Jeffries with 21. Tony Gwynn with 20. 
Blouse are leading in doubles with Rodriguez from Montreal, Aranda, and Gonzalez with eight apiece. Boone with three triples. With an eight-way tie for second with two. <laughs> Twelve home runs for Rodriguez from Montreal. Eight for Gilkey, seven for Bonds. Rodriguez leading in RPI, RBI of 26, followed by Gant and Gilkey with 18 and 17. Where was Bonds in that? Bonds was fifth. Actually, tied for fourth, but with 14. Bonds still leading in runs scored, though, 19. Followed by Rodriguez and Gilkey with 18 and 14. All right. And the standings at the end of April 20th, 1997 in the American League. It's Seattle leading the West with 10 wins, 8 losses, followed by Anaheim with 8 and 9, Oakland 8 and 10. We've got another battle there going on for second place. Texas 6 and 12. Central, Cleveland leading with 13 and 5, Kansas City. 9 and 8, Minnesota 10 and 9, Chicago 6 and 12, and Milwaukee 5 and 13. In the East, Toronto handed their very first loss of the season. 17 wins, 1 loss, followed by Baltimore is 11 and 7, Detroit 11 and 8. Looks like they're fighting over second place. Baltimore has one extra game to play before we figure that one out. Officially, I guess. Uh, half a game behind. Well, not really half a game behind, just played. Detroit's played one extra game. And then you got Boston and New York tied for third. I mean, tied for fourth, I guess, with 6 and 12. National League. The West Colorado leading with 10 wins, 7 losses, followed by San Francisco and San Diego tied at 9 and 8 apiece. Followed by Los Angeles with 6 and 11. Central, St. Louis leading 11 wins, 7 losses. Followed by Pittsburgh with 8 and 10. Chicago 7 and 9. Cincinnati 8 and 11. And Houston 6 and 12. Oosh, that division's having some trouble breaking 500 right now. Yeah. It's a long season. East Atlanta leading 13 wins, 5 losses, followed by New York with 11 and 6, Philadelphia 10 and 8, and Montreal and Florida tied for 4th with 7 and 10. And that concludes April 20th, 1997. Next time, on April 21st, 1997, the Jays will be in Anaheim to start a three game set. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.